What's going on everyone? Welcome back for another Tim Plays. This time around I'm going to be checking out some Fight Night Champion. I picked this up uh, during one of the game sales that happened a while back for pretty cheap. So um, I started off the, the, the career portion of the game. Uh, initial impressions... Or sorry, the champion mode. Um, it's fun for $5. But I think they kind of uh, nerfed what really made uh, Fight Night a special game in the first place. It just didn't really seem like the uh, I kept winning fights. Quote unquote got mechanics were as tight in this one. Uh, I'm gonna skip this junk. Oh, I guess I can. But um, yeah, they they focus more on story and I believe less on mechanics. And it definitely My shows father told me to find out what it would take to make the change so, uh, about working with us. So skip this. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. they need yeah. to watch most of the video. All you gotta do is change background. Gus's mind. Uh, one thing I think that, that still remained in the game that made you don't you know, have Fight a Night this? Round 3 sure, yeah. and um, Fight Night Round 4, respectively, very special was that the games, this game in particular, maintains mind. that high level of fidelity. So even being a now last gen game thanks it still looks really good um I, like oh, i said by the way, played a little I bit better i was by hayes camp the other day like it was kind of his trainer thinks so all right fine we can skip this so one of the this best is the, middleweight prospects of the third or fourth time. match now that happens in the champion mode in City. Uh, good evening everybody i'm joe tessator alongside teddy atlas andre bishop fights dirty this guy's got a win that's tough he's gonna try and catch him over there certain things I have lost this fight before. Everybody's so. been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do, as round one is underway. Andre Bishop, beautiful head movement, good lateral movement. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of latency in the control. I'm not just sure if that's because they want to train or anything like that. I haven't really run into anything. When you have a lot of speed, crazy like that, how so effective we'll can a feint be? Oh boy, it could be really effective because your opponent is keyed up already. Before the bell even rings, he's jumping out of his shoes. He's waiting for something to come quick. So you let him think it's coming, he's going to react to it. And then you go get him. It gives you the option to look at your own stealth and health meter. There it is! There well, you knew his opponent could crack, and now he knows too. He is down. And right now, I don't he's like how you go down so thinking in this about game. what he's going to do. Am I gonna get up? Teddy Bishop beats the count, but how does he look to you? He looks like a guy who's wondering what happened, and that's where the job of the corner comes in when he gets back to the corner. Tell him why he got hit. I kind of just wish I knew, at least in you know, the other fight night games, he kind of has better indicators. Right hand. Camera a little more close up. He's yeah, it's not looking before, like a very good demonstration. But can he get up from a second time down? But you can even see in his replays that they're really, you know, kind of like the collision detection is in its spot on as it should be. Um, so, I'm gonna try to ride out the rest of this round without what trying to get hit too much. Bishop. We've seen it throughout uh, his career. Is, we've been following, and yet oh. another big shot comes in. Him. Oh, and he goes down. I, I threw, down, I come back Teddy, off a knockdown. I throw a one punch and it right rocks away. this guy. Yeah, I think he's more embarrassed than hurt. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. you got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Also, in terms of blocking, you just don't have to pull the right trigger, which is kind of annoying. The Maybe there's other control schemes that I'm unaware of. Around his eye. He it just has seems like to do a better job of watching out. out for that. He has to protect that eye. Yeah, what he has to do now is give his corner man, his cut man, a chance for his work to be accomplished. In other words, there's been coagulants, chemicals put into that eye. Now the fighter has to move a little bit, be elusive and allow those chemicals, those medicines to work. Andre Bishop unable to get out of the way of that big hook by Hayes. Right to the head with that right. Good looking two punch combo by Andre Bishop. 
always the one thing you're in this game I've noticed more than anything is you really, really kind of conscious of your stamina. Because if that goes Andre down, Bishop's you get defense once, is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that done. punch. Hayes is just coming out here after being knocked down in the last there. round. You Teddy, you kind of see what like like that, for that, you know that will tell on. you he's on steady ground, that he looks fine. Well, the first thing I looked for is the base, kind of the of foundation. I mean, you look at the house you want to see, and you want to make sure that that basement is solid. There's cinder blocks there. You know, you don't want to see that upper floor waving a little when there's a wind. You're looking at his legs. You want to make sure that they're steady, they're firm. That's a big hook by Andre Bishop that time. His opponent. Cool thing is though, yeah, see, I got a backup now. Just in case we want something done. And then I'm just gonna come back with one. Well targeted left hand by Hayes. And now he's targeting upstairs. Scored well up top. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Really solid left hand by Andre Bishop. That's exactly what his corner wants him to do. That's okay, let's go! Big uppercut right on the mark. Back up. Oh, I got lucky. Those I got very lucky. Give me that. Uh, Stop. Stop. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very interesting. Also, the fact that they don't let you kind of do the repair again. This is one of those fights uh, that could go either way. I think that's way. kind of stupid. I like how in uh, Eddie, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, yeah counterpunch uh, opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. There's the old one-two from Keyshawn Hayes. Nice work offensively. Good right hand. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. How is he going to survive this once again? He hits the deck. He's going to have to find a way. No, and also I really hate this kind of gap mechanic. We've been doing this for a few years in uh, fight night where it's been circles bringing them together. And, Bishop's yeah, up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is uh, how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. To the head he goes with a left hand. Punches. Reaching the halfway in. mark of this round. Stamina to keep getting zapped way too easily. Keeps taking me down. Bishop is, oh, Bishop got battered right there. Bishop was absolutely battered right there. The one thing he's got to do is stay away from that right oh, hand. That, that was interesting. Andre Bishop clearly <laughs> fouled, but the ref didn't I see it. I can keep these fights clean if I can. Excellent hook by Hayes. A flush hook scores well for him. Good shot to the head with that right hand. I wish my power punch would rock him a little more. It seems like everything he hits me with is a power punch. And you see what he can do rock when he sends that right to the head. Hayes is at Can you believe that? There we go. Big shot there. He goes down, down in the goes. later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. Three, four. Right. And this is the farthest I've made it, by the way, in this fight. So. Here we go with the fourth uh, round. I apologize for not knocking him out sooner, but it's the toughest guy I've faced so far. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Left man. I know they warn you, but that's still devastating. What a hook to the head by Andre Bishop. He really defend himself very well. Hayes's eye is really a mess now due to that cut. Now, if you're his opponent, it's got to be the primary target, I assume. You know, and that's the key word, assume. And a lot of people, a lot of fans do assume that, that you start aiming at that bullseye, so to speak. But I don't believe in that. 
because now all of a sudden you throw yourself off a little bit. You start pitching punches to that exact spot. Instead of just fighting your fight, instead of just letting the jab go in the general direction of the head, set up the other punches. You don't want to get carried away for looking to pinpoint that exact spot. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead, thinks you can try to hit me up top. You can't. Great move. A very good movement, very good vision. He sees everything to do this. You have to be very calm. He's very calm. He's very in control. And now we got a fight. Right he fires back a right time. hand of his own. There's nothing. The combo lands upstairs. You can actually see how heavy Bishop is breathing right now. He's desperate to get some air into those lungs. He better close that mouth before he's desperate to get his jaw wide. Andre Bishop needs to find an answer to defend that left hook of Keyshawn Hayes. That's what I like the camera. I don't just kind of like over the shoulder and jump. Good headshot by Andre Bishop. That's a damaging blow. Double up the punch. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. I don't want to see, and that's I'm, the end of round four. I'm not happy with myself having this fight. These guys cut over both eyes. You should be able to rock in one good punch. Back to action here at the start of this round, so which is all these punches just part these. of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Andre Bishop's right so hand did no a nice job damage. that time. That worked well for him. a serious power punch he just landed to the head oh my god hook every time he got hit right there but he also gave one solid effort by hayes Hayes' his favorite punch is the jab, and tonight he's oh, loving it. Well, the jab is the table setter, Joe, and he set a beautiful table tonight. Napkin on the left, you know, small fork on the left, knife on the right, and the food this, this, right this, in the middle. Let me know that. At least hurting him a little bit. You taking some English etiquette classes? <laughs> you getting hungry? Takes yourself. one, but gives one. Good work by Hayes. Good combination punching by Hayes. Away from and Go once on, again, Andre Bishop getting out of the way of Hayes' left hook. Getting those punches in. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Big, there big go. shot he just scored That's with. Forget That's about the way. judges, this one may be over now. Hayes is down, and he looks like he's in bad shape. When you fall that way, you usually don't get up. This guy's face is messed up. Stay down. Two, three, yeah, we're done. 4-0 never looks so good. A knockout win. Andre oh Bishop that was a long over fight. But I want to thank you for hanging out, watching the fight. I don't know how many more of these fight night champion videos I'm going to do. I'm glad that you guys were able to see me actually beat this guy finally. It's been kind of a ongoing battle. But uh, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, like it here on my YouTube channel. Subscribe Brian, to my YouTube channel. Studios. We have and an stay tuned for more team plays.